Today on Recovery Saturday slash Black History Month, we will continue with Queen Latifah. This woman has some serious struggles in her life that you may not know about. So let's discuss the life of Queen Latifah. Born Dana Owens on March 18, 1970 in New York, New Jersey. Latifah had early troubles at a young age. At the age of five, she was sexually molested by her 15-year-old male babysitter. She really was traumatized by this and she kept it in for years. It really affected her relationships with dealing with other people. She kept people off and didn't get real close to anyone because of this traumatic experience. It also gave her issues with commitment as a result. Once she was able to talk about it years later, she then and only then realized that this whole situation was not her fault. So what she did was turned around and started encouraging anyone who was traumatized or victimized by anybody to come forth and share about it and talk about it because she realized how hard it was for her through those years not to do it and how it affected her dealings with other people. Her parents separated when she was eight years old and they divorced soon after. Latifa, her brother Lance, and her mother moved into an apartment complex in Newark, New Jersey. Latifa in high school started experiencing drugs. She started out experiencing marijuana and later turned to cocaine. She actually even sold drugs for one day and then she realized the guilt that it caused for her to do that that one day she gave up selling it all together. Her and her brother Lance were very, very close. They were best friends. She surprised her brother and bought him a motorcycle for his birthday. But only two months later, he ran into a car while riding that motorcycle and was killed. Latifa was crushed. She took it very hard and she fell into a deep depression, at times blaming herself for the purchase of the motorcycle, causing his death. That's when her addiction really took off. She would smoke and drink until she passed out and just fell asleep. But at some point she started turning to music. And when she turned to music, she started slowing down and eventually stopping the use of drugs and alcohol and focusing on her career. She went to counseling and therapy and that also helped her to not only kick her addiction, but deal with the fact that her brother's death as well as the trauma early on when she was five years old, when she was abused. In the early 2000s, Latifa's mother was diagnosed with heart disease. Latifa took very good care of her and did the best she can. And even when she was out on the road and wasn't around, she made sure that her mother was taken care of by friends and family. Sadly, in 2013, her mother succumbed to her heart disease. Latifa always called her mother the love of her life. Latifa has always been questioned about her personal life, whether she liked men, whether she liked women, and things of that nature. Latifa felt insulted by these questions and accusations. She felt like her business was her business, and she never spoke about her personal life in terms of relationships in front of the public. And I still, to this day, don't remember her ever doing it. Latifa, overall, has had a phenomenal life and career. She's been in tons of movies, sold many records, many albums. She's been a cover girl. She was on the leading cast of Living Single for years, which was a very popular show. She was one of the first female rappers to ever win a Grammy, if not the first. Queen Latifah has given back to Newark, New Jersey. She went there and built homes for public housing 
and other homes for affordable people because she didn't want anyone to be on the streets. She knew what that lifestyle was like. She knew what Newark was about. And she just wanted to donate and help build back up the place that she was born and raised. And I commend her for that. So on this Recovery Saturday slash Black History Month, Queen Latifah fits the bill of both of those. Queen, congratulations on your recovery. Congratulations on your outstanding career. And you are the honoree today of Black History Month. If you like anything I said in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. And the Libra Man.